Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful part of the world. Uh, it's Mark here again from Retired Affiliates and the Blogger Boss. And look, in today's video, we're going to cover making YouTube shorts for beginners. Um, I'm one of them. I'm a, I'm a beginner at this too. So I thought, look, I've I've had a look on a heap of these YouTube channels and um, you know, around shorts, making shorts, how you can make a lot of money making shorts, etc., etc. And for me, everyone that I've, I've kind of gone through, um, you know, they move their mouse around at 100 mile an hour, showing you what to do, and you know, you're having to stop, pause, try and cap, you know, do what they've told you to do, and then start again. So what I hope to do in this in this video is take you through um, one of the platforms I use, which is Capwing, um, and I will leave a link to that down below uh, this this video if you want to give that a try for creating shorts. You know, if, if you're new to this, um, I'm not an affiliate, so I'm not going to make any money of, out of you clicking on that link. Um, but I've just found it really simple, uh, a really simple tool uh, to to create these YouTube shorts. Um, so look, what we'll do, we'll dive into that. I'll get my big fat head off this screen a bit and minimize it. And we'll shoot over to Kapwing, I'm already here. Um, and this is kind of, you, you know, your, my workspace. So this is where anything that you create will go into here. And as you can see that most of the videos on, on here, um, well, they're all shorts, so that they're under that minute. Um, and it takes you, look, I, I want to say a couple of minutes to do it, but obviously when, when, we, when we do this, you'll see what I mean by, you know, some of the images and videos that they, that they give you aren't that great. I'm not going to go through the whole editing process I do because we'd be here for a couple of hours, but I'll just show you how easy it is using Capwing and obviously <laughs> the old faithful chat GPT for your, for your prompts. So look, I'm going to go over to ChatGPT first. Now I've already just I've just started this YouTube channel here, or Shorts channel, uh, called Inspired Bites. Um, I'll leave a link down to that if you want to check out our Facebook page and obviously our, our YouTube channel. Um, so look, what I've done here, and, and we'll use one of these because it's just again it's going to save time. But I've just come up with a prompt: Hey ChatGPT. I've just started a YouTube Shorts channel called Inspired Bites. It's going to be a channel filled with short videos. Can you please give me 20 quotes about life, love, getting successful, etc., etc.? And then it gives me that, but it, it starts, I want original quotes. So it starts giving me quotes from different people. So I've then said, hey, chat, I want these to be original quotes, and each quote should be a few paragraphs or enough text to fill a 45-second video clip. Because as we all know, um, while chat GP's great, it sometimes can get a little bit lost. So it's then given me this back and, and, and we've got this one. So we'll start with this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, this here probably isn't going to be anywhere close to that. I like to keep them around about 45 seconds to, to 58 or just below a minute. So what you can do then is if you copy and paste this so we'll copy that paste it down here paste and then if I just go shift enter to give me a new line I'll say um, chat can you whoops can you please expand on this to take to about 850, oops, to about 850 characters. And the reason I say 850 characters, you, will, you know, it might be something to keep in mind. And, and look, sometimes it, it will get a little bit wrong, but if it, if it sticks to that 850 characters, you'll find that your your text when you go to put it in um, into into your shorts, it'll it'll probably be around about 
45 to 55 seconds. Um, so we'll have a look what it comes up with. So waiting for chat to, uh, here we go. Okay, so again, as you can see, it's blasted something out. It's still going. Oh, it may, that's, this is probably going to be a little too long, see. Um, I'd, I'd say that's going to be a little bit long, but we can... Well, you can play around with that, but you get you get my drift. You know, you could maybe make it 800 characters. Uh, but the thing is, 850 characters, I've, I've had it come in perfectly sometimes and a little bit long other times, but we'll soon find out. So now we've got what we want to generate. We come back over here to Kapwing. Love saying that, Kapwing. Um, and we're going to go to Create New. So we click on Create New, and you can start with a blank canvas, Normally what I do is I come down here, click on that, and we want to go from to script to video. Okay, so script to video. Um, I find I found that Bethany Female is, is perfect for uh, the kind of mood and everything that I want to set up for this for this um for this channel here. So I'll leave that Bethany Female. You then paste your script into here. And see, chat got that completely wrong. I said 850 characters. They've given me up here. You can see 1,214. So this is going to be a lot long. Well, it's not going to be a lot longer, but it's going to be over a over the shorts requirement of, of 60 seconds. But again, as I said, you can edit bits and pieces out of this. Um, but you get the idea. You then come down. You pick your if you're doing it for YouTube Shorts. You want this 916. So you click on that. I've already got some my brand kind of subtitles here, I guess, but you can pick different subtitles if you click this one. We'll just go on my subtitles here, hit that. That shows you what your subtitles will look like. And then you generate video from script. So if we hit that, <clears throat> there you go. Did you know the two Capwing mascots are named Kitten and Bobtail, or Kitten and Bob for short? Not too sure why they let us know that, but... If you see down in the background here, it's starting to load everything up. So you've got your, your voiceover over here. Um, so your, your, your subtitles through here. You've got your voiceover down here. They've picked some music for you already here. They're chucking in some, well, what we think and hope are relative clips. But this is where, excuse me, um, your your video editing skills and it's look it's not hard I'll, I'll mess around just to show you how easy it is but as you can see within six and a half or because i messed around a bit and talked a bit so we'll say within five minutes you realistically have got a video that's that's ready to go um so if you listen i normally what i do i've found that this kind of volume works well is if you right click on your mouse button, or sorry, you, you highlight that so it's got the yellow around it, and then you come over to here and see the volume. I normally just drop the, this is the, uh, the narrator's volume, I drop that down to around about 70, and I'd do the same with that, down to 70, and again there, down to 70, and I normally bump that background music up to down to 30 so if we right click on that again see how that's highlighted you've got the yellow around it so you know that that's what you're editing come up here and i just bring that volume up to about 30 as you can see that's increased there now if i push play so we'll start with play now if i wanted this to be all capital so we'll stop that again so at the moment this is uh what would you call it lowercase that's the word i was looking for but up here see you can have all lowercase you can have you know capital letters the first you know after after full stop oh, okay. it's been that long since i've been at school i forgot what that is um so after your full stop i normally go with all capitals so that way then it's easy to read okay so that's just this little one here click on that there's so all in capital. So again, we start you playing. Do you see, it does all that. So you've got your music. You've got your script. You've got your, your backgrounds here. Um, all done. All done. Now, as I said, that's uh, 
well, I mean, I've done a lot of talking and messing around. So, you know, you could probably say eight minutes. If you really wanted to, you could whack that off. Um, and, you know, there's your YouTube short. Obviously, what I normally do from here is, you know, find different. So actually, just to show you while we're on this. So just say I wanted to change this scene here. So I'll move that over there. Oops, sorry. Why is it not moving? Come on, move. Oh, it's still, it's still loading itself, that's why. So anyway, so what I would do is I'd right click that, I'd delete that image, so that image is out, come up to media. Um, excuse me. Uh, so let's just say we want to add media. Well, I don't know, we'll see what else, see what kind of media I've got here. Uh, what have I got? Anything here? We'll just go... Uh, bat. And, uh, I mean, I wouldn't. This is just to show you how I would do this. Um, that's a bat's video. We did actually didn't want that. Let's go over to images. Let's go. What do we? What do you want? We want business. Probably freeze. Just say I wanted to add this one in here. Um, just click on that. It drops down to here. Drop that in here. So is it? lines up with that and then drag it across sorry yeah uh you left click on your mouse button drag it across to look to about there and that's moved that one in um so again you know you oh, sorry about that that was me i'd hit the wrong one i thought that was the, the pause button here um so you get what i mean so obviously back there Life again you see this scene come in in replacement of the other one. Okay, okay, come on. There we go. So that's it. Um, and then obviously you can add end screens and, and play around with it a little bit. Uh, but very simple too, is a tool to use. And then you just, I'm not going to export this project because obviously there's, there's still a lot of work that I need to do on it. Uh, but you would simply... Hit the export project there, um, then downloads itself, and you you upload your video short to uh, YouTube. Um, I hope this video has helped. As I said, it's it's I'm I'm still learning. Uh, you know, well, talking in front of a a camera. Um, so my, I'm hoping my videos will get better. And I'm hoping that this has kind of simplified um, the process of making video shorts. Again, as I said, I will leave you uh, the Kapwing um, your link uh, in the description there. Um, give it a try, and if you, if you, if you need any help um, or not sure of anything, uh, hit us down below in the comments, and I'll get back to you. Uh, that's about it for now. Have a great day, and um, I'll see you all in the next video.